Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. Alright, so we got a request to do Sagittarius. Haven't done this one in a minute. Alright, let's see what's going on with Saggy. Keep my energy out of this. <laughs> Alright, and if anyone is interested in a personal reading with me, Look in the description box for the link to my website. I do have extended hours until the 12th from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., okay? All right. Keep in mind that these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest. All right. Give me messages for Sagittarius. Give me three. All right. We got passion ignited. Okay. Strengthening bonds. Okay, there is some heartache and loss here, but finding balance. All right, whatever you went through was a teaching moment. All right, so you got brand new beginnings here. So closing out old cycles and starting something new. All right, give me messages, please, and thank you. All right, mastering your emotions here. Some of you may have kind of locked up your heart a little bit. Um... Might want to open the door just a little bit. All right. Also, I see some of you are preserving your feelings here, too. You know, not just uh, being open and vulnerable with too many people. Um, you're basically testing and trying the spirit here as well. Uh, making sure that you just don't allow any old body in. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? So there's that. But like I said, some of you may be a little bit closed off, not looking for love, not, you know, open to it. But it kind of looks like uh, somebody's coming in here to stir the pot. Let's see. Awaken something within you. So let's see. Joy and stability, the number four here. I really like this for you. Healing begins. So also you might have a new connection coming through that's very healing here as well. Look at this, going with the flow, closing out an old cycle here, and also blossoming after some type of loss, all right? Also, be careful of your finances. Be careful of your spending right about now. All right, give me messages here for Sagittarius. Look, sharing the love. I told you, you got a healing connection coming in here, okay? This connection uh, is actually helping you heal men that broken, that broken part, all right? I'm just saying... Also, nurturing this connection here as well. Putting in effort because you're receiving it back. Also, you might be or might have a source to help you move on and close out a cycle here, okay? This was a very dark cycle that you were going through. And it looks like this is finally closing out for you and new beginnings, all right? You're finding joy in your heart again. Finding reasons to laugh and smile and all of that, you know what I mean? Isn't like, especially the first stages of a new connection, isn't that just wonderful? Absolutely. Feeling all good and all that type of stuff. I like it. Hopefully you're in a connection where it stays that way throughout the duration. I can't talk. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Give me three about this situation, please. And thank you for Sagittarius. What do we need to know? All right, so you have the world, a very happy ending. Absolutely love it. Coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So like I said, gaining awareness on what that connection actually meant in your life. There was possibly some growth here. All right. Um, needing to flourish, needing to come out of a situation. Some of you... Um, you might actually have some type of gifts and talents here when it comes to spirituality. And some some here, someone here could have actually got in a connection with someone where it kind of pulled you into the dark here. Not able to manifest the things that you want in your life, okay? So, sweetheart, unalign yourself with whoever this is, okay, and move on. Something is closing out. Some of you are in a toxic connection with someone here as well, okay? So moving on, all right? And it did take some help to get you out of the situation, some prayer, some meditation. Someone here also could have, you know, um, got counseling 
from someone clergy, um, also from others, therapists or whatever, you know, to help you get out of this situation. Your ancestors and guides could have been helping you too once you made a decision to actually move on from a situation, okay? All right, so we have the Seven of Michael. This is the third time this has come out today. So Michael and Raphael, they're really busy today. I like it. All right, they're bringing you good news. All right, there's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Absolutely. Ask for help during this situation, okay? Especially when you're trying to get above water, okay? Get your head out of something that has you emotional, okay? So help me closing out that cycle. All right, so there's that. Moving on. Literally, let's see, give me messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. All right, so we have the 10 of Ariel, new beginnings right there. Look at it. All right, there is so, I'm sorry, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and a promise for retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Libra got the same card here, okay? So some of you could be starting over with a Libra, Libra here. Libra is also leaving a situation that is kind of toxic and all kind of stuff going on. Moving into karma waters partnering with someone of like minds here, okay? Also, a lot of spiritual growth um, with this connection here, too. Both of you guys are sending together, all right? So, it says, new beginnings, start a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Absolutely, you know? So, even though, you know, ish happens, um, we as humans, we have a, a habit of mucking up things, you know what I mean? And Sometimes people step on toes in, in other people's lives intentionally and unintentionally. Sweetheart, don't harbor ill feelings towards people. Doesn't mean you got to let them back in your life. But forgive these folks and move on and live your best life, okay? There's that. Don't let your past hold you back. Have a forgiving heart and understanding, all right? Understanding that everybody in on the level that you're on doesn't see like you see, doesn't think and feel and love like you do, Okay? So let those differences, um, you know, really sink in, sweetheart. And like I said, don't harden your heart. Don't block your heart off from somebody else. Just realize that the person that you were dealing with or the people from your past, those were not your people. Most likely, there were possibly some lessons, and it looks like you got a blessing on the way, okay? So the two of Ariel says it is important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So I was going to call you Leo again. All right. So anyway, um, Sagittarius, golly, and then I was going to call you Aries. All right. So you could have these things in your chart. I know I do. But anyway, um, you may be multitasking a lot of things here. All right. For different reasons. Some of it might be financial. Others of you, you may be just working, doing multiple things, keeping you busy to keep this person off of your mind. OK, I'm just saying, you know, taking control over a situation. Um, sometimes my feeling is out of sight, out of mind. Keep yourself busy. The more you don't think about this person, the kind of the quieter they get. You know what I'm saying? In, in your mind's eye, the more that energy dissipates. Finding, finding a healthy way to detach from a situation that has you kind of stuck, okay? Doesn't work for everybody. It works for me. All right, so you do what's best for you. But it looks like you are taking on multiple projects here. You might be working. Somebody here might be going to school here as well. You might have your own little project going on here and also balancing this relationship. The thing is, is that with all this going on in your life, you got to take some time out for self, okay? To woo side, to veg out, to do absolutely nothing but just be you and breathe, okay? There's that. That's your recharging moment. All right, so we have the moon here. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Absolutely. Step into the unknown, sweetheart. And especially when it comes to this love thing. <clears throat> okay. When it comes to this love thing, um... You have to, you know, walk by faith, sweetheart. 
All right, and also by sight too, because some people will show you some things that you need to pay attention to. Those red flags get to waving like, toodaloo, I'm here. You need to pay attention. Boop, 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 boop. Pay attention. All right, there's that. So pay attention to the red flags. And one thing that I can say is don't be so hungry for a relationship or a connection that you settle for less than you deserve, okay? There's that. If you've already been in one of those type of connections where you got somebody that was really toxic in your life here, sweetheart, use your discernment not to get into that situation again. When you start seeing those red flags pop up, don't give this person excuses. Give this person an exit, okay? I'm just saying no excuses, exit stage left, period. Absolutely not. All right? So be careful who you align yourself with. All right, give me messages for Saggy. All right, poverty, there might be some money issues here, sweetheart. It's time to make some wise decisions here. Could have something to do with your home, your stability, okay? All right, but you got some money coming, so don't don't trip. It's on its way. Give me messages for Sagittarius. What did I say? Somebody here is work, 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 work. So, okay, so also somebody's in their feelings here. All right, really in their feelings. Somebody here might be feeling down in the dumps, a little bit of de uh, depression, sadness. Someone here could be isolating themselves. The age 38, 31, and th or 37 could be significant here as well. Also 36 for somebody here. Somebody could have been born in 1983, 73. Let's see. On the 13th or the 31st of one of these months. All right. So let's see. All right. 613 might be significant for someone here too. And also 87. All right. So let's see. There's the end of a cycle here. End of this poverty. Absolutely. So somebody is working their way out of some type of financial bind here for one. Also, someone here has been single for a while. The people that you have been coming across, sweetheart, are, are oh God, we vagabonds. And this type of energy here, alley cats. Look at this, okay? You got strays coming towards you, all right? So it looks like the end of that cycle is actually closing out for you. Somebody here might be moving, relocating, traveling here too. But this is coming to an end and you got distant horizon here. So something is coming up really, really soon for you. You could be dealing with somebody that's a little bit older than you as well. This person could be in their mid 40s um, to mid 30s or whatever. All right, definitely a lot of work happening here. Somebody here might actually travel for work here as well, and you could relocate for work. But whatever this is, I do see an end of a cycle coming for you. All right, and please take care of your health. All right, somebody here might be a bit concerned because they have to move too. All right, relocating. This is possibly what this is all about. All right, and you might not feel like you have enough time to do everything that you need to do. Somebody actually could be moving, uh, uh, leaving a relationship here or whatever, and they're trying to get out like quick, quick, all right? So that's a side note for somebody. Give me more information for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. There's that poverty again, too. Working. Somebody is actually working their self to the bone. You have goals to um, achieve here. Someone here might have started a new connection, might be talking with someone new, but you don't have enough time to spend with that person. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. And you got a false person coming up behind you, too. This might be a past person. Clarify bad health. Please take care of yourself here. This could be a mature woman. Okay, someone here could actually have someone in their family that may be going through something here. And you may uh, be thinking about this person. You may end up traveling to go see about this person here. There could be some legal situations involved here as well. Not really going to get into that. Anything else here? Because, yeah, I see that. Yeah. All right. And also for poverty, we have mature woman. Look, there may be something going on. 
with someone's elder, someone's mother here. Somebody could be the age 66 or born in 66. I don't know. Um, someone here could be traveling here to go see an elder parent, an elder parent or a parent figure here. Also, somebody could be waiting for some type of money here that it seems like it's being held up for whatever reason. Could be some legal issues. I don't know. Give me more messages here. Wealthy man. Like I said, you won't be in financial, I was going to say financial ruin. This financial situation for long, okay? Also, this courtship is coming up here. Some of y'all or somebody here, dang, this is crazy because I think Libra got the same thing. Uh, somebody here, you may be partnering with someone, getting in a relationship with someone who is actually pretty, you know, the pennies is looking pretty good, all right? They're real shiny, all right? I'm just saying, kind of blinging a little bit, all right? This person might be willing to help you out. Or someone here may be going somewhere for assistance and someone actually helped you out, okay? So there's that. This is definitely um, dealing with the connection here, too. Uh, somebody might be coming across a wealthy man. Mm, I'm just saying. All right. So let's see. What did I say? All right. And also, this could be somebody that you've known for a long time here as well. Could have been just business or whatever, but maybe this person's been kind of crushing on you. Golly. There could be an age difference, a real age difference between you two as of like five years. Okay, moving on. But there's a brand new beginning happening here with someone, the lovers, new connection. And you might find this person once you relocate, all right? Or while you're traveling. Give me more messages for Sagittarius, please, and thank you. A lot of work ahead here, sweetheart. Lots and lots and lots of work ahead. But it's for a great cause here, all right? I see somebody has you on their mind, too. When it comes to this situation, one they help you out. Uh uh, no, this is this is what we're not getting ready to do. You got new beginnings coming here for you, new money. Look at this. All right, so for somebody here, there could have been an argument, disagreement, or something like this, dealing with somebody that was shady. All right, and it's this is causing a headache. Somebody's got to get out of this situation like now, now, not later, later, but now, now, you know. Let's see, give me messages about this situation. Yes, cut it off. Muted, booted. Oh, I almost said something else. Absolutely not. No violence. Okay. There's that. Oh, Lord. Somebody could have been dealing with somebody else that got someone else pregnant, and they find this out. Or you find this out and cut this person off. I don't know. Let's see. Give me messages. What did I say? There's some drama here. Somebody's dealing with somebody else. We have the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Five of, of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the truth comes out with the Ace of Swords about a connection that you're dealing with here. This is something that's been going on for a long time. Somebody finds this out, leaves this person in the cold. I got to get away. Absolutely. Clarify the seven of swords. What is this? Somebody's making the decision to split from somebody that they cannot trust. All right. Pulling back their energy. Moving on. Somebody's trying to build money real quick to get up out of this situation. So the truth will set you free. And it is. All right. Ooh. And then on top of that, this is a side note here, honey. Somebody here has a person that is going to come and tell you the truth about this situation. It could be the person that is pregnant. All right. I don't know. But somebody here started a new connection with someone else. Um, 
Why am I hearing that somebody may have started a new connection with a boss? Or somebody at work? What is the five of wands here? Because somebody's doing something they ain't got no business. They don't have no business. Absolutely. Somebody started a connection with somebody else. It possibly got feelings for this person too. There's conflict, drama here. There's a possible family here. News comes out about this situation. Oh, what is a ten of swords? Oh my gosh, why are you falling out like this? Somebody was reckless here, did something dumb, stabbed somebody in the back here. They started another connection. That's what they did. Give me message. Dang. All right, so somebody is definitely taking a break off of this situation. Now check this out. What somebody here is doing, putting two and two and two and two and two together and adding it up, and the math ain't mathing. There were some things said in this connection that this person may have told you that's not lining up with the time, timeline and dates and whatever this person is coming to tell you, okay? So somebody is putting an end to this situation, but going within, reflecting, staying up at night, reminiscing off of conversations and things like that. You know, when this person said they was at the gym at such and such an hour, hmm, they weren't at the gym. They were working out, but they wasn't at the gym. I'm just saying. Okay, so give me more. All right, somebody here, they possibly a little sexy, a little handsome, look good. You know what I'm saying? Get kind of feeling themselves. Uh, this person has the wand in his hand, so he's probably, you know, spreading the seeds. You get a seed. You get a seed. I'll give you a couple of seeds. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Somebody was being real genuine or generous when it comes to the woo-wop and all of that. You know what I'm saying? The woo-wop goo wash. <laughs> That's what name says. Yeah, somebody's definitely leaving this situation behind because they were being too generous with too many people. Here, we got the devil here and the cherry to here as well. Devil definitely cutting this off. All right, so... What y'all got going on? I see why you're closing this cycle out. It's imperative that you do that. Anything else here? Give me six for this situation. Divorced. Mm. So somebody here is leaving this situation. Uh, a trio. Mm. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a third party here, but I heard menage a trois. Okay. Get your freak on. But whatever. All right, so there's news here that somebody is finding out here, and there's definitely a separation here. All right, somebody is not saying anything. There's definitely group activities going on. Oh, my God, somebody might have signed, found some videos. What is this? Or found some type of evidence. Somebody has been, you know, like tracking time and, and dates and things aren't adding up. Like I said, the math ain't math. And so somebody's been storing information. All right, just gathering information. I don't know, but if you like me, you're going to be quiet for a little bit and you're going to watch and look and gather. And as soon as there is nothing that can be, you know, disputed or whatever, boom, this, all this right here. See, yeah, I know about all this. Not that, yeah, it is because of this right here. Yeah, and this. See, I'm going to draw you a map. <laughs> All right, so whatever was done in the dark is now going to be out in the open. The Virgo could be involved, okay? Now somebody is shame. Shame. Mm, I'm just saying, why? Because what was done in the dark is now out. Interference from lovers. Look at this. There's somebody else in this situation. Why are you landing over there? All right, so... Whoo, didn't I say somebody was possibly dealing with somebody at work, a boss, a co-worker? Wow. Oh, my God. All right. Somebody is using somebody for money, for clout. Oop. All right. There's a sister here. Somebody's sibling might know about this situation. Or maybe somebody's sibling, their sister, or somebody was literally, uh, somebody's sister knew about this. They could be a Virgo. 
whatever it is. Now somebody is trying to play the victim in the situation. Okay, so you actually might confront somebody about this situation too. And they might tell you, well, you know what? I couldn't say anything because, no, nah, you could say something. You could say something. Aquarius might be involved in this situation too. But dang, wow. All right, so let's see what else is going on here in this situation. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this out. What I see here is a bunch of drama. I see why you left the situation or why you're leaving this situation. Because don't, don't nobody have time for this. Don't nobody have time for this. Absolutely not. This is this is a, a major no. This is a, oh, hell no for me. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Like I said, the truth will set you free, okay? We don't stay where this is going on here, sweetheart. Life is too short for that. All right, so let's see. Let's get a couple of messages from over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I see why somebody is heartbroken here in this situation. Because this is a cold mess right here. Oh, right here in my face. It was in my face. Let's see. All right. Give me messages about this situation for Sagittarius. Thank you. All right, access denied. You have been blocked. Block, mute, and deleted. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, spirit baby. There's a pregnancy here. Okay. Mm, okay. Jail time. Somebody might have been jail in jail time. Oh, my God. Some of you, this might be someone, a sister or a co-worker or somebody that you know that, did, oh my God, look at this. There's a trio. So somebody is messing around with two people that you know. This could be a friend, a co-worker, somebody that you know, a co-worker and a family member. Jealous AF, okay? Friends, this is people that are showing you the evil eye. Friend, ex-friend, lover, ex-lover. Ex new partner, ex is new partner, I'm sorry, family and a co worker. Somebody got pregnant here by someone's person, all right, and tried to hide it. And somehow or another, that person may have come to you to tell you, like, apologizing or whatever, but what they mean to do is actually hurt you, okay? Jail time here, okay, now look, Sagittarius, I know you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Don't put the hands on these people here, sweetheart, okay? Move on. Let them deal with that karma, okay? Because, yeah, we don't need this in our lives. And you got a lot of beautiful things coming here for you. You just have to release this trash. And that's exactly what it is. Cut all of these people off. Snip, snip. And do what's best for you here, sweetheart. Because, honestly... A lot of these swords that are in your back right here, sweetheart, um, are not just from your person. It's from other people, okay? So you need to do what's best for you, boo, and get up out of this situation. And um, don't let anybody trigger you where you got to put, put hands on them. I'm just saying, all right? There's that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah. And there, um, wow. This reading makes me really glad that I am single. Hmm. Yeah, because what the hell is this? I'm <laughs> just saying. Either way it goes, like I said in the beginning of the reading, you do have somebody else coming in. You got a brand new connection coming in, somebody that wants to invest in you, somebody that wants to give to you equally here, sweetheart. Um, unblock your heart, but, you know, put a protective hedge on it. You know, who, who, who's trying to get up in here? What? Let me see. What you coming with? Oh, no, I don't like that. That's okay. Whatever it is, all right? Protect your heart in this situation, sweetheart, okay? But don't let it harden your heart, okay? The adversary is busy, especially during this time. We are in the age of Aquarius. If you are any type of light worker, you just have a good soul, good nature. You could be doing healing work, whatever it is, a counselor, mentor, um, 
whatever it is, a good natured person, the adversary is going to try to stop you from doing whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Especially if you believe in the most high, um, the main job here for the adversary is to get you to stop believing. Okay. Give up hope. Uh, the adversary will dangle in front of you what you think that you want. And in actuality, it's fool's gold, sweetheart. It's gold plated. If you get it wet, it will make you turn green. Okay. I'm just saying it looks nice on the outside, but I'm telling you it's real foul on the inside, sweetheart. Okay. So don't feel bad about cutting this negative energy off. Just think of it like this. You're growing. All right. So it says giving you fresh, uh, fresh, fresh soil. All right. And I was getting ready to say fertilizer. OK, but he's giving you fresh soil to, you know, plant your roots in, plant your seeds in so that you can bear fruit. A lot of minerals, a lot of, you know, nutrients and things that will help you grow and expand. Unfortunately, some of those things that will help you grow is also dealing with certain people that you're not aligned with learning um, to discern these spirits to come from amongst them, sweetheart toughening up that skin so that that way, you know, you will be able to close off some cycles with some people that have no good intentions for you. You understand? Also, it gives you insight on certain spirits. Sometimes you don't even have to deal with people. You can just look at certain people like, mm -mm, yeah, I see that thing that's sitting right there and it's sitting there staring at you, looking right back at you. Okay. Hoping that it is disguised, but I'm going to tell you something. If you have any type of spiritual intelligence and you are aware of, you know, the difference between, you know, light and dark, that spirit is looking at you and it knows that you see it. OK, but if you choose to ignore it, it's like it's sitting there smirking at you. Come on in. I see you. I know you see me, but you want to give me a chance anyway. OK, it's like a cobra. You know, just sitting there with his head reared up, that King Cobra. But when he flares his hood, oh yeah, he's ready to strike. You understand a lot of people, when they look at Cobras, they don't even know what it is until that hood uh, comes up. And they see that symbol on the back. It will tear your behind up, okay? Don't pet the Cobra. I'm just saying. It is what it is. Let this person go back into their little shell and do whatever it is that they do. They're leaving a line of destruction, in their path. All right. There's repercussions and consequences for everything, sweetheart. Okay. Unfortunately, you being in a connection with this person, the consequence was getting your heart broke. Okay. But look at it this way. Dealing with this person also exposed other people or other entities that are working against you and letting you know exactly how they feel about you. Okay. So you can actually use this as a tool to help you move forward and not only get this person out of your life, but a few others. You understand what I'm saying? Some of these people, you may be related by blood, but not related by spirit, okay? So there's that. Come from amongst them. Do what's best for you. If you got to work your way up out of this situation, do what you got to do, okay? Um, there's that. All right, my love. This is what I got for you guys. You guys take care. Thank you for hitting the like button for your girl in advance. And like I said, if you want to book a reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website. All right. And I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.